Well, hello again. What I wanted to do is just uh, revisit uh, finding the voltage really across that 3K resistor. As you remember from last time, we actually worked out the I1 current and we worked out the I2 current. So what we can say here is the voltage across that 3K resistor, that voltage, okay, across that 3K resistor, let's, um, let's give it a label, shall we? Uh, we can say it is VX. We're going to say that Vx is really equal to, um, well, if I choose the I1 mesh as the lead current there, it's going to be what? I1 minus I2, and that's going to be multiplied by the 3K resistor. And that assumes, because I'm looking at I1 as the lead current, that I'm defining that Vx as what? As a plus minus in that direction. So if we go ahead and do this, we can say Vx is equal to, uh, what is that? That's 11.82 minus 9.09, and all of that is milliamps, and that is multiplied by that 3K. So that is really equal to, doing this, that's 2.73 milliamps multiplied by 3K, that gives me a Vx being 8.19 volts. And you can say, well, no worries there. All right, well, what if I chose to actually use I2 minus I1? Should you really not get the same value? Well, let's think about that, okay? So let's think of calling this voltage then, uh, yeah, Vx, all right? So we could say Vx is going to be equal to, we'll open up a bracket, this is I2 minus I1 multiplied by that 3K. But because I've chosen I2 as the lead current there, am I not changing the defined direction of that voltage? Yeah, you are. You're really defining the voltage now as being what? Plus minus in that direction. So maybe I should call that something else other than just Vx. So I'll call it Vx, let's say, um, dash. I'll put a dash over here, and I'll say Vx dash is equal to, opening this up, we've got 9.09 minus 11.82, that's milliamps, and that's multiplied by that 3K. So that is equal to, what is this? Uh, that's going to be a minus, isn't it? This number's smaller here than this number, so that's a minus 2.73 milliamps, that's multiplied by 3K, and so therefore my Vx dash is going to be equal to a minus 8.19 volts. How do I reconcile these two things really to be the same, same number or the same thing? Well, think about it. If I were to take a meter and I put my red lead over here and I put my black lead over here, uh, really I would be measuring in this case, 8.19 volts. And I'll also be measuring a plus 8.19 volts in the second case over here. Why? Well, because when I worked this out using the I2 as the lead mesh current, that defined my voltage as being plus minus. That's why I got a negative number there. Because the actual voltage between here and here is really a plus 8.19 volts. And so if I put my meter plus minus here, I would actually be measuring a plus 8.19 volts. So I just felt that point needed just a little bit of clarification there.